summer is here. Or rather it was when I started this video and then forgot about it. So these My Little Pony beach designs aren't exactly topical or on trend or in season, but they're still fun. The last MLP video did pretty well, so I'm back giving my Equestria Girls redesigns a fun day at the beach to celebrate summer in November. December. For Fluttershy, same as before, big butterfly motifs, flowy fabrics, light earthy colors, fairly modest clothes, etc. Uh, last My Little Pony design video, I wanted to give her a crisscross butterfly shaped top like this, but I thought it was a bit too much for her, but I figured it was perfect for like a beach design, right? I doodled her actual swimsuit on the right, but I figured a cute beach cover-up was more her style. I gave her a big long skirt in a nice earthy pale green. I wanted to give her a claw clip as well because it makes a shape that looks a bit like butterfly wings. Pinkie Pie, again, has a lot of movement to her. I switched up her hair but kept the bobble hair ties that look like her cutie mark. She has this cute frilly little skirt which is a little bit inspired by Haruhi's swimsuit from Oran High School Host Club because it's pink and fun and a bit girly, plus ruffles move in a really fun way. The strings on her top have pony beads on them as well. Also, I gave her arm floaties that I forgot to color in because they're basically balloons but for water. I realized while in the process of making this drawing that I forgot Applejack's freckles in the original video. Oops. I gave her a long surfer shirt and sporty short set because it's comfortable, and I think it'd be funny if Applejack sunburned really easily, especially because she's a farmer, and I think it'd be funny if she had a farmer's tan, and if she wore short sleeves on the beach, it would be even worse. Applejack isn't my favorite design overall, but I'm just really proud of how I incorporated her cutie mark. Her shorts are supposed to look like an apple that's been cut in half, so like the green stripes on the outside are skin, and the little bow is like apple seeds. When I thought of this, I felt like a genius, even though that's kind of the same idea I used for her shirt in the last design. <laughs> also, as I said in the last video, Applejack would wear her cowboy hat, I just didn't want to draw it, sorry. Rainbow Dash was really fun. I immediately wanted to do like big tomboy shorts. I wanted to give her a surfer boy type vibe, you know? I think Rarity probably designed some, if not all of the beach fits or helped the gang style them at least. Otherwise, Rainbow's outfit would not be this well color coordinated. I feel like she would want to show off her muscles but also not look too feminine. I gave her a big shirt over her bikini top. I also gave her clouds all over her design and also a beach ball because sports. Despite the surfer vibe, I think it'd be really funny if she owned a surfboard but didn't know how to use it. Vogue picture, some of my boards. I was looking forward to drawing Rarity. Where I struggled in the last video to make Rarity avant-garde while also being high school appropriate, I had no such problems here. She wants to give beach mermaid siren vibes. I saw this photo on Pinterest in this Chloe Moriando photo shoot while looking for inspo for Fluttershy, and I immediately wanted that for Rarity. She made this outfit herself. It has this sheer draping fabric falling out from the top. Also, these strappy things from her top and her waist beads are pearls and little gems. I wanted it to look artfully disheveled and draped, but realistically she spent hours on this look. Her hair is in mermaid waves with a seashell and starfish clip. She has her signature pale blue eyeshadow, lovely. Unfortunately, in the mania of trying to get this translucent fabric to look okay, I forgot to draw her wedge sandals, whatever. The, these designs are all over the place and these are just references for the final piece at the end of this video, so whatever, you'll see it later. For Twilight, I saw these one pieces again while looking for Fluttershy inspo, and I liked the old-timey design. I thought maybe I could do something similar, but with like botanical illustrations, and then my brain went, boom, no, it's astronomical charts. And then after that, my brain went, make the constellation symbolic, duh, which was unnecessary, but very fun. I looked up a bunch of constellations. I chose Corona Borealis because it's supposed to be the crown of Ariadne, I think. I think Twilight would appreciate her underdog status and intelligence, Plus, this constellation looks like the magic element of harmony crown thing, so I drew the constellations on her one piece. Now with the designs done, let's see them side by side before we move on to the final illustration. I originally wanted this to be just a sketch to prove to myself that I could draw characters interacting with an actual setting with like a background, because let's be real, I never draw any backgrounds and barely any props. It was just meant to be like a quick black and white sketch, almost like a storyboard, you know, or like a thumbnail. 
and I've heard with storyboards that it's good to block out how close things are, making the closest thing darkest and the farthest things lightest. Then it kind of spiraled out of control into a full piece that I spent way too much time on. I had Applejack and Rarity talking together under the umbrella. I had Twilight break out a good book and read on the beach. Dash is trying to keep her beach volleyball win streak going and is probably taunting Pinkie Pie, but I think it'd be really funny if Pinkie had no idea how to really play and kept winning somehow. Rainbow Dash is trying so hard not to be mad about it. This is supposed to be a character design video, but I think it's just starting to read as fanfic anyway. Fluttershy is enjoying the sun on her skin and being with her friends. Her pose gave me so much trouble that I'm probably gonna have to speed up or cut out some footage because I didn't really know where to put her, you know? And it just kept not working for me. But you know, once I figured it out, I gave her a little butterfly on her finger because once I choose a design motif, I lean into it way too hard. Shading this piece was actually super fun and a unique challenge for me because of all the different values. I did try to color it once I realized how much I liked this piece, and I did that using an overlay layer, but it just kind of looked weird and muted and dark, so I kept it black and white. I am super proud of it though. I'm glad these girls get to hang out and have fun on the beach. Now let's look at how the whole piece came together. I plan on making another My Little Pony redesign video of the Dazzlings at least, just for fun. Maybe Luna and Celestia. Also Discord, I feel like he would be really fun to make a human version of. Um, maybe if I feel adventurous like Chrysalis. Anyway, so let me know if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Goodbye and good night.